Hello, and welcome back to Mafia 3, where last time we left off, we were about to have our sit-down. Before we do that, though, a few hey, things. Lincoln, oh, this fucking guy again. Oh, and that gold. fucking thing again. All right. Uh, um, so, one thing I noticed just now is I checked the objectives, and... Oh, it, okay, never mind. Just now, this one wasn't here anymore, the River Row one, but I guess it's back now. I literally checked two, two seconds ago. I didn't... Okay, well, that's weird. Uh, the green one's still not there, but eh, whatever. Um... And we're going to actually drop off our money real quick first because I we have a decent amount of money in our in our cash right now. We want to get rid of that. Um, what I will do is I'm going to call my car. So what's this? this is the police one? This is the operator. Uh, this dispatcher, right? This is the hit squad. This is the constant. Yeah, we'll stash your dough under a night. Oh, so I could do that, but we're pretty close. Um, I'm gonna do the vehicle delivery. And I'm going to have my own car. Oh, we got this one to the Berkeley Executive. If you're looking for a low-key ride, Hank can bring you Father Dream. Oh, I wonder if we d got that one for doing that special mission. Secure Downtown, Secure Tickfall Harbor, Secure Barkley Mills. Okay, so the, the, these all look pretty normal. When the bullets are flying, this is the armored suit Hank can send you. I think it makes sense to drive in our own car. Knowing how much she means to you, Hank will keep the drifter close. Can I get a new vehicle out in River Road? Just going to take a squirt, and I'll get her out to you. Because we're going to... We're gonna go to this meeting thing. I wanna, I wanna arrive in style. Four I wanna arrive an in saying. our own car. That's a big hill. Oh, get the hell out of my way, man. Um, but yeah, first we're gonna drop off money, which is pretty close, so it's not too big a deal. Oh, I'm going the other way. Um, I'm looking forward to this mission though. But yeah, I'm still a little concerned. Well, not concerned. A little. Um, don't really have a word for this. I'm not quite sure about the whole that one optional mission missing. I feel like I assume once we get more districts or something, that's probably when we'll be able to do more of those quests again. Because I'm assuming the urn goes up for the entire like um, for everything that that each lieutenant owns, not just for district by district or something. I'm assuming we'll always be able to or always have to go back to that same location to pick up. Um, our kickback and things like that. I'm assuming those that place will stay the same for each lieutenant, and thus also the urn, etc. We can upgrade, and it'll, we'll have to go back to the same person to do more quests to do that. It's still just weird that that one isn't there anymore. But anyway, we have uh, about 60k here. Not too bad, 65 almost. Not too shabby. Hopefully, our car is still there. The game loves just parking your car in a different location or something, which is just awfully inconvenient. Especially since... Is that it? That's not my... Is that my car? No, it isn't. Nope, it isn't. Um... Well... See, that's the uh, extremely annoying thing about this. Because I don't really want to call in the car again. This is the problem that we have with this game right now. Well, not a problem with the game. It's just that it's an, a pretty decent nuisance in this game. Because... I just, I mean, now I have to use another marker to get that car, so instead I'm just going to drive this thing. Yo, buddy. Wait up. I'm going to fucking gun you down? I will fucking gun you down. This didn't have to happen this way, man. You can just give me the goddamn car and I was blood all over it. Anyway, so yeah, it's kind of an annoying thing. Because, um, yeah, you just lose your car for going inside of a building real quick and then that's that. So I gotta use this car. I mean, I could call another one, and I'm sure it doesn't matter. Maybe I should just call another one. You know what? Let's call another one. All right, let's call this I'm in one the again. And I need transportation. Aim slammed at the moment. Give me a ring later on, and maybe already in the oh, in. come on. No, you're not slammed. You just can't because I'm already in the vehicle. I'm in the bayou, and I need transportation. On a lot. Just getting there warmed up. Don't crash it. Oh my God! You almost crashed it. Get out of that goddamn car. Four wheels and an engine. Yourself. Appreciate it. That's his go-to line, isn't it? All right. So now we're down to uh, how many markers for green? Three. Oh, we still have three. Never mind. I thought. Wait, did we did we really have five just now? I I refuse to believe that. I don't know. Maybe we uh, maybe this is three or something. I don't think so though. Ah, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Also, there's a whole bunch of kickback we can pick up all over the place. But in all fairness, right now the kickback is so low that I honestly don't even really give a shit. I'm assuming it'll go up over time. Like I'm assuming there's not a limit to how much money that can, can that can be. I assume it'll go back over uh, go up over time. And even if it doesn't, I don't I don't know what I'm missing out on right now. But if it's a few thousand, I'm not too bothered. We seem to be making plenty of cash just doing missions. 
So far, I haven't really seen anything that's too expensive. I mean, I haven't done any upgrading on cars or anything like that. Oops. I think the uh, the, the gun upgrades are probably going to be the most expensive thing, but... Eh. They're alright. I do actually... I would have liked some more ammo, but I don't think this this mission that we're coming up against now is going to be any gun... Gun... Gun shooting? Gun... Firing? We're, we don't... We shouldn't have to use our guns, I think. It's just a meeting. I'm assuming most of this mission is a cutscene, but I don't know, maybe there will be some follow-up to it immediately. I'm excited, though. I'm, I'm actually very excited to see, because this is like going to be the first time we have all of our lieutenants together. Obviously, have, there's going to be some drama, this person hates that person, yada yada, teaming up on one guy, who knows. That's always the, the case with these type of games, isn't it? Yeah, lieutenants for, immerse, meet for the first time, you gotta, they got to earn each other's respect, blah blah blah. You know how it works. I haven't seen Cassandra for a while, though, besides her just smoking and drinking on the couch at her home, like she always seems to do. Interesting that we chose this location for our meeting, though. Ah! Okay, I actually hit that guy, but that was alright. Uh, oh, there's a road here, alright. Oh, crap! Oops. I always love how that takes your armor away. Like a tiny bit, it's like... Oh my god, you hit your steering wheel with your chest. There goes your armor. Alright. Well, here we go. Nice house, though. As far as I can tell from the outside. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, either. well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this then. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcano, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcano? These two used to work for Marcano. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcano told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. That doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know, second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's see if we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so. Not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, Cassandra's nice. right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so... Once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart.
Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Okay. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're implying fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over in Nam. Oh, what now? <clears throat> the map has additional missions available. That was quick, by the way. Just go straight from the cutscenes into What now? Meet up with Donovan to continue going after Mercano. Complete the optional agenda and trafficking missions for your underbosses and lieutenants. Well, if I haven't done all of them yet... I will do that, but otherwise, I think we're done, really, with that. Completing a gen and trafficking missions nets you extra cash and increases the underboss's loyalty. Press P on the map to select one of the Donovan's missions or one of the optional agenda and trafficking missions. Alright, let's have a quick peek then, shall we? Um, right, so options, objective even. Oh, god. The dead stay, the dead stay gone. Donovan's waited through the muck to learn about the wreckers in Barclay Mills. Hold, hot rubber and cold blood. Donovan's discovered the ins and outs of the crooked ship, uh, shipping records in Tickfall. Alright, these are just the three next um, places. Donovan's intels revealed the dirt and corruption at the heart of downtown. And then we have the two options. Oh, we have more optionals now. Ah, there's a green one again as well. Not the one we had before, because now there's five total. For, two for each color. Uh, or, yeah, two, yeah, two for each except for the green. Um... Works distract with other obligations. Go see what you can do about uh, to get it back on track. I hope this isn't completely busted. Let's see. Uh, which one was it? This one. Steal the semi truck. Okay, so that one. Hold on. Is it not? Are we not full anymore then? No. No, we're still 50k out of 50k. So it's still it's weird. I don't quite get it. Okay, so these are the free districts, by the way, that we're supposed to take over now. At least they're all like in the general area. I guess. Well, that's just a map, isn't it? There's not really a whole lot else besides that. Where the fuck are we? We are over here. Right. Well, what have we got? We got um, this one again. I think that's that place that we were before. We were... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the stupid place that I died at ages ago. Well, we're going to try and do this again. Ah, my car this time is actually parked here. How convenient. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go do this one. And, uh... Oh, God. That was bad. Um, and see if it's actually there or not. And if not, we're going to do some of the other optional missions, I guess. Because we've got some new ones and I want to do those. I'm still, I really want the green one back because I feel like it's bugged and I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be left out on that one. Unless we did it, but I don't think we did. I think we did two for every single faction or underboss, whatever. I think. I know I did two for Cassandra. Because then we found out, like, on the third one, that we, it said the records are full and I was confused about it for ages. I know I did two for uh, Vito, because... Oh god, I was close. Because we literally just did that. I just did the freaking Burke ones I'm confused about. I think we only did two as well, but I, I, I honestly should just have a look back and see when or what happened exactly. See when I can figure out when I lost that mission, and if we did it or did not do it begin with, but I'm pretty sure we didn't, because all of them, or well, the other two, we only did two for, why, why would we have done three for that first one? Uh, oh, why do they have to turn, man? That's what, I was going to turn there. It was clearly your fault. Alright, so we got to, we got to go across the water here, which is what I didn't want to do before, because the freaking alligators, but we're going to do it anyway. If I can actually pass through here at all, all right, run around. Damn it. Wish I'd known that just now. Okay, keep my stamina up a little bit so we can actually... Oh, that's the stamina. There's no stamina bar, there's just like this general stamina thing. We actually have the sniper rifles. Honestly, this would be a good idea to do this from a distance. Unless there's no one there. Which it very much looks like that is the case.
Well, let's find out. Stay the fuck away from these goddamn alligators. Please, alligators. Haven't you heard? Black meat tastes terrible. Oh god, there's one right there. Pretty sure this one still isn't available, which would indicate that the other one probably isn't available either. At least there's a boat here, so we can use that boat to get to wherever we need to be. Alright, we're out of the water. Well, I'll sneak, but pretty sure there's nothing here. Nope, alright, so yeah, we had that problem before, so that's still not available. Alright, there's this one over here, and we can get a... This is where, this is where we took the, uh, the, the boat ages ago. We can use this boat over here to actually go there, that seems to be doable. Uh, there we go. This one, what is this objective anyway? This is the... Okay, so this is the other one that we're not technically supposed to be able to do. So let's go find out if we can do this one or not. We shouldn't be able to, but God knows. Fuck off. Oh, there's one right there. Let's hit him purposely this time. Right over his head. Get fucked. Man, that's... It's kind of satisfying. I mean, to be fair, those things haven't actually done anything to me yet. It's just a fucking... Like, I'm not kidding. I'm not, like... I don't have a, a, a phobia or anything about any kind of animal, really. When I was a kid, I had, like, snakes hanging around me and shit. Well, not, like, on a fucking daily basis, but... I, um, like... I don't know, when we were on holiday and stuff, it was, like, one of those things. Oh, you want to have a snake around your shoulder? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, that's awesome. But, um... Anyway... Um, I don't have any phobias about any type of animal like that, but just the fucking thought of, like, swimming in this fucking place and alligators all around you, that is fucking scary to me. I don't know why. Even though it's not even a real-life thing. Well, I mean, it, it is, but not for me. Obviously, it's a game. Anyway, it's just, it's weird to think about shit like that. Alright, I don't know. Once again, I feel like this one might be one of those that we're not going to be able to do, but let's park it up here and... Make sure from a distance. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. There's no truck there. These missions are just really buggy. These optional missions. Okay. Well, um, that's not gonna happen either. Then at least it's it's clear that none of them can be done. So even though we still don't have the green one, we just can't do it. But we do have a, an actual mission for every single one of them, though. So where is this? That's up there. Where is this? I assume they're all gonna be in the place where we. Okay, that one looks like it's... Actually, no, Cassandra's closest. So let's do Cassandra's one first. 45 in my hand. Worried about the hollow being able to protect itself. See what you can do to make that possible. Listen to Cassandra's plan for protecting the hollow. Yeah, it looks like it's probably closest. And I think the boat might be a good idea to get there as well. If I can get this thing out back into the water again. Which is going to be difficult. I might be able to push it in. Let's see. Okay, not really. But I might be able to just... Come on. Come on. The motor's still in the water. Don't be a dick. Oh, okay, I can go forwards. I tried to go backwards, but forwards works better. Uh, Alright, we want to turn immediately. Go back where we came from. Come on, boat. Where's the speed gone? It sounds like it doesn't want to... I go to the next gear or something. I don't even know if boats have gears, but... Okay, here we go. Now it's going. It was just, like, stuck on, like, on first gear. I think, I think there's only one gear anyway, but... God knows. Copyright, copy cream, cop, copyright claim video. It's going well. Anyway, so finding some new op optional objective. These, these might be different than the ones we've done so far as well, which is good. No freaking stealing weed or some other form of drug, I suppose. A lovely little boat there. Um. But yeah, I, I, I think this this might finally have something to do with what they said ages ago. Like, all the lieutenants have talked to us and they said something along the lines of um, it's going to be difficult to... or we got to make sure that we can actually keep control of our own area, blah, blah, blah. Where do I go? Straight. Okay. Um, like, if we, we have to keep control. Like, just because we own this territory now doesn't mean we're in firm control. That's what uh, What's-Her-Face said, Nikki. And then the... Uh, Peter's lieutenant said something similar, Elma or whatever her name was. Um, and then there's there's another lieutenant in the beginning from Cassandra, that the guy that's over here, I think, actually, this little boathouse, I'm sure. 
He, he, I don't know if he said something similar as well, but I would assume he did. Perfect. I didn't actually think that I couldn't get out of the water from here, but this should be fine, I hope. Probably could have gone closer, but I thought either it was going to be a really cool jump. Shit. That is a ladder there. I it was going to be a really cool jump, or I could just walk from there onto the land, but not quite. That is a ladder, right? Yeah, it looks like it. The alligators around here, I think. Once again, as I've said before, it's all connected, so they're very much, very well could be. That's a decent looking car right here. I think I'll have it. Wait, did I just... Look like I smashed the other window there. I can't let you do that, lady. More than 2,000 Union delegates cheered AFL-CIO President George Meany oh, when he well, offered his support gonna do it for anyway. police action against disruptive protests in Chicago. The car being stolen they're now. Oh, the he said the unit in the area. Maybe stop over and see what's going on. See, this is someone that, there's someone a dude right there that I could take out that I'm pretty sure would help the mission. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Oh, I gotta be right in here. Let me know if you need anything else, Sean. Pearlie used to put these under our beds. Thought they'd keep us safe. Fear drives people to seek out all manner of protection. God, the invisibles, Loa. But sometimes, that is not enough. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, right? Not with a 45 in my hand. The white government says we don't have a right to arm ourselves and we can't be trusted. But the folks around here, all they're looking for is a little peace of mind. There are stashes of guns hidden in this city. I need you to steal them. You sure this is about the hollow? I don't need you starting a revolution. Fucking everything up. When you out there running around killing all those crackers, what do you think people will see? I'll tell you what they see. A crazy nigga. A nigga part of a savage hole that needs to be exterminated. Well, I don't give a shit one way or another. They can come after me. And what happens when you're not around and another black man or woman is, huh? We all the same to them. Don't you think the people of this neighborhood, the mechanic, the housewife, have a right to defend themselves? History tells me that giving you more guns might be unhealthy for me. It's not like that. Not anymore. I'll see to it. They get in the hands of the right people. I'll see what I can do. And don't worry. I'll make sure you benefit as well. Don't push me, Cassandra. You know, at some point you're gonna have to trust me. Maybe. We ain't there yet. She's pro-gun. Oh my god. Alright, while we're here... I'm also assuming this has just up opened up like a, a line of new objectives or something. Because it's essentially the same sort of side objective. Steal this, steal that. It doesn't matter what you steal as long as you steal something. The fruits are our labor. Bon appetit. Yeah, you too, lady. Right, let's have a look then at our objectives. Uh, we... Yes, this one. Right. Steal weapons shipment. Hijack the truck full of weapons and take it back. To oh, at least this is pretty damn close. That's good. I'll take that. I don't have to go into the damn bayou every time, especially for the uh, the Irish mob ones. Oh, for fuck's sake, my car was just here still, and now it's gone because I went upstairs? Fucking hell. Look at this car over here, might be alright. Oh, hold on, what's this? Is this my car? I don't think so. Mine was less dirty. Oh, well, maybe it is. Never mind. It's weird, the way the car, car, the car parking thing worked. In the beginning, I liked it because it seemed like, even though it was in a different location, it was still there, and it was kind of just parked off the road, essentially. But now, oh crap, didn't take the turn, it doesn't matter. Now it just seems like most of the time your car is just gone. And especially when you call in a car and it's gone, that's actually really inconvenient and annoying. 
Like, you use one of your markers or money or whatever you spend, really, as long as you spend anything. It's like, I paid for this, now I don't want my car to just disappear. Sometimes, I just, especially if I got a nice little car, I want to drive it for a long time, not to pick up a new one every time. Plus, there's the added thing of having the witnesses happen and then they're gonna like call the police and shit. It's like, are you really, like, I shouldn't have, have to do this in the first place. It's kind of weird, but, eh. Hello, lady. You need a new car? Feel free to take it. Someone is. Okay, I'm gonna use the wire box there, but who cares. I really need some ammo, though, actually, I just realized. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, shit, someone's seeing this. Fuck. Oh, shit, boys. This ain't good. Gotta hunker down! Oh shit, son. This ain't good. I can't even see for this goddamn window. Oh, wait, hold on. There's go, go, go. not enemy. There's a... Should have gone for the head. That was a waste of ammo. Oh, you are. Alright. Wasn't necessarily going for uh, aggressive on this one, but. Here we are. Oh shit. What? I ain't just what? I didn't quite get that. Next time, could you please finish your sentence? You're gonna start a sentence like that and then not finish it. Oh, this would have been a nice point of entry right here. Oh, hello. Wait, what was that? Gotta cut your ball, boys! Over here! I'm pinned that. Whoa, he's still alive, what the fuck? I got brothers to bury. What? That's sad, man. There you go, cocksuckle. Why'd you have to hit me, man? That was my armor. What have you got? Pistol, nice. Do some pistol armor. Alright, anyone else? No? Alright. Aw, oh, it's got like a fucking Confederate flag on it. What am I doing? Stealing it, right, okay. Deliver the truck to Cassandra. Right, it's time me to go straight. That doesn't look like it's going to be possible. Up here, right. Is this truck going to even make it up this fucking hill? Uh, God damn. Barely. <laughs> Jesus. Not very... Not particularly uh, strong car. Well, I don't know. It's called, it's called strong. I have so little knowledge of cars, I, would, I wouldn't know what to call it. I wouldn't, I would assume, like I was gonna say, it doesn't have a whole lot of horsepower, but I imagine it does, it's just, it's a fucking heavy ass truck with a load of weapons in the back. That'd make it even heavier. So, I don't know. I don't know. Right, get out of my way. I've got weapons in here, man! Please, just move. And get out of my way armor back there. We're still pretty good on the, the old armor. No. Okay, I guess we'll just do that. Hey, is this where we crashed our boat earlier? No, it's not. It looks like it. It's not. That would have been pretty funny if our boat was still there, but uh, yeah. I'm assuming the same thing will happen to boats that happens to cars like we talked about before. Right, now the question is, is this going to give me another string of like two or three missions, or is this it? That's what I'm wondering. Kind of hope it doesn't, but on the other hand, it's like, yeah, more quests, more... Like, don't like me more, etc. Well, I guess we can tell there's something. Nope, that's... Oh, there's a, there's a new one. Wait, okay. Oh, it's just... Yeah, that's the, that's the update for, still. Turn to Cassandra. Do I actually have to? I do actually, okay. Oh, she's upstairs this time, alright. Boop -ba -doo -ba -doo boop 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 Alright, hello. I did what you asked. How's it going? It's good to see you again. The holla gets stronger with every gun you bring. Don't doubt that. Yeah, every gun I bring. Optional mission unlocked. I was gonna say, that's definitely gonna give us more missions then. Right, well, I guess that's what our thing is gonna be for the next little while. Where is this next objective, anyway? It is... A sign of this. Wait, what? Okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe there won't be more quests then. I thought. Okay. Well, that's good. 
There's nothing else for now. It's just we have to assign a new district. But that's going to be a while before we do that. All right, let's go do the veto one next. But we're going to do that next time. So for now, oh, next agenda mission. You've completed an agenda mission for your underboss. Unlock more agenda mission. If I can assign this underboss to another district. Ah, right. Okay, I see. I see how this is going to work. Talk to Vito. Yeah, that's what we're going to do next. God, that's bright. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day and goodbye.